Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we've traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today is our Gay Pride Day, where we celebrate our diversity and uh, love and respect for one another. So we'll probably have around eight floats, if you could believe it, from all the different bars and groups. But it's fun, as you can see from our walks, these are our state highways, so everyone has little go-karts and we decorate them as festive as we can. It's very important to remember where we come from and who we are. A lot of the younger generation take a lot for granted because they've come into this world where there's so much more acceptance than someone like myself who come out of the uh, late 60s, early 70s, who realize what we've all been through. So today is a remembrance of who we are and that we have a long way to go to fight for equality. We try to leave nothing out. We all use our imagination. We have people dressing up where sometimes you have to look twice because we don't really know uh, what they were thinking. You don't know what you're gonna see, so you have to really pay attention to what's going on. Each year, the Arts Project, we elect a new homecoming queen. And the homecoming queen will have a very own float, the majesty. So, and she will have an entourage of people following her on her float. And she will go up and down the boards giving her queen wave. Happy Pride, Verizon, happy Pride. I'm a proud Verizon user. Well, they have a little get together pageant out here. And I did not know who was entering and who wasn't. And I figured this is a great year to do it. So I got on stage and people cheered for me. and. Here I am. This community has such a spirit, so many wonderful people, so much togetherness and uh, working together that we are indeed, I think, the envy of many, many communities. When we were young, uh, quite frankly, it was against the law to be gay. You could be arrested just for being gay. And this was a place where we could come to and be ourselves and walk openly on the boardwalks and hold hands and bask in the summer and put on theater and just have a good time together. And so the history of, of being gay people is, is very founded in this place. I marched and walked to Washington and I marched in the parades in the city since conception. Um, and to show your pride is a very, very important thing that we're all one community, we're all people, just living in this world all together. Today, it's more important than ever because of the tragedy that happened in Orlando. And I think we need to just show people that one person is acting like a complete and utter maniac isn't gonna come and scare us out of our truth. We fought too hard to turn it back now. And we're not gonna hide. We're gonna be out loud and proud. And we're one pulse. We're one pulse. But if we give in to our fear, what would I do? Go back to Connecticut and sit in my room? I mean, you know, we have to go on living, period, flying around the world, being gay, being who we are. You know, you can't let anything get in the way. You just have to move on. Just because of one sick person and an ideology none of us you know, believe in. 